Howdy folks, how are we doing now? Uh, we ended the last video, what were we doing? We were, oh that was it, we were ploughing that top field. You can just see in between the barns there, see it's brown. Well, I've got that mostly ploughed. I've just got um, one headland left to do. So we might as well go and get that done. Um, just check on the cows. The manure is um, topping up quite nicely. We've got uh, nearly 12,000 litres of manure now. And the cow's doing yeah, a bit tight in there, 86 in this little barn. Um, but uh, yeah, they're doing alright. Um, 10,000 litres of slurry. Kind of odd, I don't get why we haven't got any separated manure. Now, I may be doing it wrong. I've not really used the um, slurry DLC yet. Um, but as far as I understand, you should, you know, you put the um, your separator next to your cow barn or your slurry in particular, which is that is the slurry point there. Um, and that should automatically work, but uh, obviously it doesn't. I don't quite know why, but uh, there we go. Anyway, um, not to worry. We've still got this to pick up as well. Um, make a few bales. Uh, but let's, uh, yeah, let's snip up. Let's go and um, get in the RT and finish that field off. Look at that. Spare size field now, that is. Right, we'll give a few ribs. A bit dirty, it really has. But, um, yeah, I really am really quite enjoying this map. It's a nice map. Um, it's kind of a shame that it's all grass, but um, it is what it is, isn't it? Um, you can obviously do what, like, you know, do what I'm doing here and um, plough it up and create some arable fields. So exactly what I'm doing. Need to get some fertilizer on that. Of course, there is um, there is a map that is getting nearer and nearer to completion that I think a lot of people, myself included, are looking forward to, and that is Court Farms by Oxygen David. Uh, he's been working on it for months and months and months, probably nearly a year to be fair. Um, but it just looks like the most amazing map you will ever come across. Um, Keeping up to date regularly with his, you know, with his posts and that, where he puts up, and he put a little bit of um, video up the other day, and like just the wind blowing the bushes and the grass was so realistic, it's unbelievable. So um, as soon as that comes out, we'll be, um, we'll definitely be moving on to that. I think. But, I mean, there is a lot of good maps out there, lot. Like, like there's the Oaks. The Oaks is a good map. It's uh, it's a four times map I believe um, so it is big I mean it, it's big to do on your own it'd be ideal multiplayer map um, I know when I started this oh, was it a year ago when, it, when I did the first video I did say you know we're gonna <coughs> uh, we will get some multiplayer action going and I still intend to do that but oh, I didn't realise how uh, sort of how much time it takes to set these things up like even you know I thought um, like doing the video like, that's why I haven't put so many videos out to be honest because um, it's it's it surprises me how how time consuming it is to make a farming simulator video uh, farming simulator video 
Um, I don't think, you know, it's, it's almost takes longer to make a farm simulator video than it does to do a you know a video that I'd do normally on the other channel. It's um, <laughs> it really has surprised me. And um, of course, with all the you know the, the stuff I do on my main channel. Um, doesn't leave a lot of extra time but oh, you, know, you know there's always you know time in the future so I'm not going to give up on the model racing I've had a few um, offers to join um, specific servers to you know have a you know play with other folks and that and um, I'm trying to do a bit of that as well yeah look at that see that's why I like the old um, multi terrain angle just gives it a bit more touch of realism because my plan is never <laughs> never that straight in real life. No. There we go, right, we'll take this back to the yard and uh, we'll get straight up here with the cultivator and um, um, get it cultivated. Might be a bit tricky getting out. No, I'm not in transport, but I'm only bobbing down to the yard, you know. Good old government subsidised. I've got uh, government give me lo <laughs> loads of money, what an half million. What am I doing farming? Well, I'll sell up and keep the money. Just go and get um, a load of fertilizer I've ordered. It's turned up, it's at the dealership. So I'll take the 4440 and uh, take the flat trailer and we'll go and pick it up. So I'd like to get that on. I guess we've got to go and cultivate that field and get that drilled. Um, So I want to get this, you know, first sort of fertiliser on this field so it uh, gets going. Those are these old 4440s. I remember driving one many moons ago, like this, two-wheel drive. Blooming beast of a machine it was. Make that. Need a minute loader. Right, we're off for our big old load. 16 tonne on there, which is kind of inaccurate because they are not one tonne bags. You don't uh, you don't get fertilizer in one tonne bags these days. Um, 600 kilograms is your limit. But uh, yeah, on the game we're 1000 kg in each one of them. So a good old load. Actually, <laughs> way too much for this trade, I should think. Uh, <laughs> but uh, there you go, never mind. And the strapping is not the best, we've missed a few bags, but they shouldn't fall off, should they? Come on, girl. Oh, yeah, she knows about fourth gear, didn't she? <laughs> there you go, we're away. Lovely, pretty map this is, isn't it? 
A lot of little farms to choose from, actually no end of them. unloaded and uh, stick some bags in the fertilizer spreader and get that wheat uh, get that wheat fertilized got here. <laughs> look at the tires hold on hey oh dear it's not good we've got a sliding trailer I don't know why because we're on the flat here so it shouldn't be sliding anyway never mind let's grab the loader Get the pallet tines on her and uh, get that unloaded before it swings all the way out of the way. Let's see, we may need some weight on this. Let's see. Well, it just goes down a bit as the um, bags go in. Realistic range. Right, we are off. Do the headland first, as you would in real life. I normally would be going this way as well because, uh, well, depending on the specky machine, a lot of the sort of like the simpler machines, if you will, will have the headland, uh, like the throw plate, the, yeah, the reducer. Uh, on the right hand side, so you'll go anti-clockwise around first time. Although that isn't modelled, I can't see it modelled on these here, but um, trust me, that, right, that's how it tends to be in real life. So, because um, how these spreaders tend to work is they'll throw more, I'm doing 24 metres, but they'll throw more than 24 metres, and it's the overlap, they don't throw as much over the 24 metres, if that makes sense. But because there's an overlap, it adds up to a, a, the, the correct dose when you sort of come back down the other side, if you know what I mean. So to get round that on headland, you have a, uh, sometimes it's called a tri board or something like that, and that reduces the throw um, towards the hedge, so you're not putting it all in the hedge lot. That's, oh, that's just a case of just following me tram lines. Still a bit of water lays here from when it was raining. Nice little touch, had a bit on the, on the edge of the field there. See now you get puddles going everywhere and all sorts of mud. Puddles there. I've got that bit to do as well, so yeah, we're definitely going to want some more fertiliser. But we've definitely got enough in to get round, you know, back to the gateway anyway. Load will bring some to the gateway, so it's not a bother. I don't often <laughs> get this far on farm, farm in there. I'll, I'll, I'm in the habit of going from map to map to map and starting to farm and everything and then not sort of getting on with it. So there is a mod now that uh, it's called Start From Spring, it's PC only. Um, but yeah, it does what it says in the tin. You know, you start from spring, you obviously haven't got any crops ready to harvest like you have normally. Um, you know, you've either got sort of growing crops or bare ground. So start from scratch so to speak so which is it's better yeah you're growing your own crop rather than just harvesting what the game has already put there you know what I mean? which is good because um, yeah, it makes it more more interesting then so I'm gonna grow this crop and um, and uh, take it to harvest and you yeah. know Hopefully for a while. It all depends when Court Farms comes out, doesn't it? Like, but uh, I still like this map. It's a good little map. This is. Um, 
nice and detailed, nice sort of nice touches on it. Um, I especially like the the traffic, the variation of traffic. With, you know, you've got uh, wheel diggers, um, tractor and muck spreader, and uh, lid loader, all that sort of different stuff. Up to the gate, and then uh, we'll go and fetch some more with the with the loader. Up there down. Right, so that was an enjoyable second video on Bally Spring. Um, I'll carry on doing this and in the next video we'll possibly just finish this up and obviously we've got cultivation to do on the, that flower ground and then uh, get the drill out and get drilling there. And then we'll have a look, uh, we've got that grass to pick up as well. Um, but we'll also have a look see what, um, if there's any more ground we can buy, you know, increase the acreage a bit lot. But uh, we've got quite, you know, we've got. I'll well, have to have a total up, see how many hectares or acres we've got at the minute, lot. But we've got, we've got a fair bit to go at, lot. But uh, um, yeah, a bit more wouldn't hurt, I don't think. There we go. So that is that filling up. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ta.